Right here you can see two devices, a tablet and a game console, and they both have a touchscreen. But the tablet has a different type of touchscreen than the game console. The tablet has a capacitive touchscreen, and the game console has a resistive touchscreen. In this video, we are going to compare these two different types of touchscreens. Let's take a look at the resistive touchscreen first. A resistive touchscreen works by detecting mechanical pressure of an object pressing down on the screen. This object can be anything. It can be your finger, it can be a little pen that is included with the device, or something else. This also means that you can use the screen even if you're wearing gloves, which is its first major advantage. Then in this shot, you can see that the top layer of the screen is made out of soft plastic, and this is an advantage. And that is because soft plastic doesn't crack, it doesn't break like glass does. So when you drop a device with the resistive touchscreen, there won't be any cracks in your screen afterwards. So resistive touchscreens are very tough, and that's exactly the reason why devices that are used in outdoor environments, like a GPS for example, often have resistive touchscreens. And another advantage of a resistive touchscreen is that it's relatively cheap. But of course, a resistive touchscreen also has disadvantages. The first disadvantage is the sensitivity. As mentioned before in this video, the screen detects mechanical pressure of an object pressing down on the screen. So simply touching it is not enough. You have to use a little bit of force. The second disadvantage of a resistive touchscreen is its low contrast. Because of this, colors look kind of boring and flat on the resistive touchscreen. Now let's move on to the second type of touchscreen, the capacitive touchscreen. This is the type of touchscreen that you find on smartphones and tablets. Instead of detecting the mechanical force of an object pressing down on the screen, this type of screen detects electric conductivity, and our human fingers are actually conductive, so when you touch the screen, it detects the conductivity of your finger. That is how it knows that there is a finger touching the screen. It doesn't actually detect the force, the pressure of a finger pressing down on the screen, like a resistive touchscreen would do. And that brings up the first advantage of a capacitive touchscreen. It's very sensitive. You don't actually have to press down on the screen. Just touching it is enough. This makes capacitive touchscreens very user-friendly. Another advantage of capacitive touchscreens is their excellent color performance. They have high contrast, so the colors look very good on a capacitive touchscreen. Now, let's take a look at the disadvantages of the capacitive touchscreen. First of all, capacitive touchscreens aren't that tough. If you have a mobile phone, for example, with a capacitive touchscreen that you drop it, there is a crack in your screen. And that's, of course, because they are made entirely out of glass. The second disadvantage of this type of touchscreen is that you cannot use it when you are wearing gloves, and you cannot use any other objects to use the touchscreen. It only detects your finger, as we just discussed. Unless you have some kind of special touchscreen pen or special glove that was designed to work with a touchscreen. And then there is a last disadvantage of this type of screen. First of all, it's made out of glass. I mean, glass is more expensive than plastic. And then also, a capacitive touchscreen is quite a complex piece of technology. Because of these two reasons, a capacitive touchscreen is more expensive than a resistive one. So that was my detailed comparison between capacitive and resistive touchscreens. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.